Okay, let's do some math for fun. Here is the sequence for you guys. Here we have one, and then two, and then three, and then four, and what's next? Of course, five. And what's next? Of course, eight. And then blank, blank, and then so on, so on, so on. So, as always, please pause the video and try to think about this first. And no, there was no typo for this, right? This is what it is. Anyway, go ahead and think about it. Okay, hopefully you guys have a chance to try it. And now, before I show you guys the answer for this, let me give you guys a hint in case if you didn't figure this out. So check this out. First of all, let's look at here we have one, and then two, and then three, and then four, and then five, and then eight, and then what's next? Yes, seven, and the one following that is what? Two, four, eight, sixteen, like this, and so on, so on, so on. The next one will have been nine, and then thirty-two, and so on, so on, so on. Yes, that's the pattern for this sequence right here. And now I'm going to show you guys how to write a formula for this right here. I will first show you guys how to write a piecewise formula for this, and then I will show you guys how to merge the piecewise formula into just one formula, right? So that's the deal. And leave a comment down below, let me know if you guys get this or not. All right, check this out. Um, I think it was always be easier if you just write down some n values, because when you have this to look at, it's actually really helpful. So. And start with 1, and then just continue and c equal to 2, and c equal to 3. And again, depends on the convention. Sometimes n is start with 0, but, but now we'll say n is equal to 1 to our starting value, right? 36, and n is equal to 7, and then n is equal to 8, and so on, so on, so on, of course. Well, if you look at the numbers in red, they are the odd number terms, and you just get whatever the n value is. That's about all, right? So now let me just write down this. For you guys, we have two situations. First, you will just get m back if n is odd. When n is equal to 17, a 17 will just be 17, just like that. Now, let's look at the numbers in black, which is the even number terms. Well, how can we go from 2 to 2, 4 to 4, 6 to 8, 8 to 16? It's not just doubling, you know, because doubling wouldn't work right here, right? But it is doubling if you go from here to here, from here to here, from here to here. So you can expect to have some kind of 2 to some power. And if you look at this right here, it's in fact 2 to the first power, and this is of course 2 to the second, this right here is 2 to the third, and this right here is 2 to the fourth. Well, everybody has the 2 for the base, so we have the 2 right here. And now let's see, let's look at this for example. How can we go from 6 to 3? Well, you can just divide it by 2, right? And does that work for this? Yeah, because a divided by 2, which is just 4. So the power right here is just n divided by 4. I mean, just kidding. n divided by 2. Right? And this works if n is even. So that's it. And of course, uh, the purpose of this is just kind of try to think about how to come with a formula. We're not going to prove this. We'll assume that this is pretty much how it is. We'll not do induction for any of this. And now, I will show you guys how to merge these two formulas into just one. Because technically, I did use just one, well, I did use two formulas right here, right? This is not one single formula for it. So, here is the video. Green pen right here in action. Sometimes if you want to merge like a lot of pieces to get into one, you can do the following. So, here is what we want. Well, you have the even number terms and also the odd number terms. Let's look at odd number terms first. What you want is, you want to have a sequence 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, and so on, so on, so on. Why? Because if you can come with this formula, you can just multiply by this right here, so that the odd number terms will stay, and then the even number terms will be you know, gone. And then you can do the same thing for the even number terms, which is 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. And again, we have to come with a formula for this as well. Then multiply by this, and then we'll be done. That's the idea. Okay, for 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, and this right here, they are both repeating. So it's a good idea to look at the unit circle, and of course, 
Let's look at these four points, which is right here, right here, right here, and right here. This is 1, 0, this is 0, 1, this is negative 1, 0, and this right here is 0, 1, like that. Okay, depends if you want to use sine or cosine. And for this one, for example, we start with 1. So you might be looking at this right here. That's the cosine value. However, this is when cosine is, well, cosine, the input is 0. Cosine of 0 is 1, right? And keep in mind, our n start with 1. So if you want to look at this point to start, you have to make sure your input is like n minus 1 something, right? But don't worry about that, because you can also use this right here. It's easier this way, in my opinion. If you look at this, keep in mind, this is the sine value. And in fact, this right here is sine of pi over 2. Sine of pi over 2 is give you 1, right? So that's good. Well, if you start right here, and then just kind of go around the circle, you will get 1, 0, negative 1, 0, and so on, so on, so on. Which is very similar to this. Let me write this down first, though. This right here is sine, and because each every time we are going pi over 2, right? So we have pi over 2 times n like this. However, once we get to here, we end up with negative 1. That's no good. We want to have positive 1, right? It's okay. We can just square that. That's it. And you can also take the absolute value, but if you want to write a function for this later on, squaring is much better. You can see um, you know, it's continuous and differentiable. You can also do the fourth power, but I'll leave that to you. All right, so that's the formula for this. Similarly, we can look at this one, and this is going to be cosine of pi over 2, and that will begin with 0. Then, just go around the circle, this is going to be cosine of pi over 2n, but we will have the same situation. Let's just do it. Put it square right here, like this. One of my favorite questions for this. Yeah. So, that's pretty much it. And now, let me just show you guys the answer. If you want to merge these two uh, formulas together, if you just want to have one a n, all you have to do is the following. This is n when n is odd, so I will put down that formula right here, which is the n, and then you multiply by this right here, which is this formula, namely sine square of pi over 2n, like this. So if you just do that, that will produce 1, 0, 3, 0, and 5, 0, and then 7, 0, and so on, so on, so on, right? If you work that out. Okay, and then, of course, we'll be doing the same thing, and we'll just add them up together. Add uh, this, which is 2 to the n over 2, and then multiply by this guy. We have the cosine of, of cosine square of pi over 2 n, like this. So, this is it, and as I said, this is one of my favorite uh, sequence questions. So, let me know if you guys have any questions. If you have any other like fun sequence questions, leave a comment down below and let me know as well. And as always, that's it.